Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Java GUI tutorial. And in this tutorial, um, I'm going to teach you how to make a fairly complex game. Um, it's probably going to take at least uh, five to six tutorials. I'm going to think at least. Um, I've I've already I have it pre-written. It's about 200 lines of code, so fairly complex. It's basically um, an over/under game. So like. It's gonna start off. You're gonna have a number, and you gotta pick over. It's gonna be over or under, and it's gonna be like out of 20 numbers. So, um, anyways, you'll see. It's kind of hard to explain. Well, anyways, let's get started, shall we? Here's your. Um, still only need three sets of imports. Uh, imports, and you gotta extend this JFrame. frame. And all right, so we're gonna need quite a few things to start off. Um, we're gonna need an int. I'm gonna call it round, and I'm gonna initialize it to one. And this round is going to tell us what set of guessing we're on. And you'll see how that works in the action perform method later on. <coughs> now we need uh, four random number integers, and I call mine first ran, ran, and then ran, ran two, ran three, ran four, and comma here. Alright, and we generate these later. Well, the first round we generate right away, but the last ones we generate um, when we do the action perform method, when we click the buttons. And then we need a J label. We're going to need uh, four, f five, or six of these. So, um, first, come on, first label, second label. And these are the labels that hold the numbers that are randomly generated. Third label and fourth label. And they need a label called OR, and basically all that label does is, is display the word OR in between the two buttons, higher or lower. And then I have a label called WIN OR LOSE, and that basically just displays the result if you've won or if you've lost. Um, I need two J buttons, one that's higher and one that's lower. Um, and I'm going to make a simple menu bar for this program also, because we're going to have to have a couple of functions up in the menu bar, because there's really I tried putting them in uh, in the program, but I couldn't really find a spot, so just made a simple menu bar. Menu bar, and then you need a menu. I also have one called file, and then two items. Um, reset, which resets the game so you can play again, and exit, which you should know what that does. All right, uh, quite a few variables there to use, but we're, we'll use them all eventually. Um, public over under, that's what I called my um, class. And right off the bat, we're going to generate the first random number. Because we want it to be kind of. We have to use it right away in our constructor, so I need to generate it right away. So, first ran. And. Yeah, that's going to be equal to. Um, a casted int and then math random and I'm, uh, all the numbers are going to be by 20 I mean if you wanted to customize your program and make it so they can enter a uh, number you just make a variable up here like um, like input or something like that and then instead of putting here you just put like times input you need to make a text box and all that and button and, but that make it way more complex than what it needs to be so for simplicity's sake, uh, I just do 20. So, all right. Now we need. <coughs> I'm gonna make a font object. And crap. I need to fix my window real quick. Or this is gonna. All right. All right. Ignore that. But I said to fix my window so it wouldn't go off the screen for you guys. <sighs> all right. So I'm gonna make a font object and I'm gonna call it font. So font font and that's going to be a new font and it's going to be uh, I'll just do normal serif um, bold and size 16 and this font is going to be used to display like the numbers and yeah I mean yeah just the numbers um, then I'm going to have a layout and basically I'm these this layout right here is for three panels and inside that pa those panels, I'm gonna also use um, grid layout. 
Um, it just helps me lay it out a lot more cleaner and um, grid bag layout is pretty confusing for most of you guys, so even for me, it's uh, so I just stick with grid layout and just use panels to customize it and make it look decent. Alright, so menu bar, and that's gonna be a new J menu bar. And then we gotta set the J menu bar to be the menu bar. Alright. Um, make the file. So file, that's gonna be a new J menu. And inside there it's gonna say file. And then uh, have the menu bar add that. Or add that to the menu bar, excuse me. And then we'll make one called reset. And that's gonna be a um yeah. New J menu item. And inside there is a uh, restart or something like that. Restart, yep. And then file dot add reset. If it's spelled correctly. Reset. Alright. Now finally we'll add the exit one. So exit so that's gonna be a new J menu item. Uh I'm gonna call it quit for once instead of exit. So file dot add exit. Alright, now give all of these things that we made well, not all, I mean, it's only two things, but just give them our action listener, so so when we click it, it'll actually do something. So, I'm going to call, I'm going to call my classes pretty descriptively instead of just, like, event, because I'm going to have, a, I think, three or four of these um, action perform classes, so this I'm going to call system close, and just give an S for system, and that's going to be a new system close. Now, you want to so the system close, that would be correlated with the exit. So exit, and then add an action S. And it's giving us errors, obviously. And then I'll make another one called restart game R. That's going to be a new restart game. And then this is obviously going to be correlated with the reset function. So reset, and then give it the R. Got it? All right, good. Now, we're going to get into the layout and adding components of our game. So, uh, first I'm going to make a pane, and that's going to be used to kind of lay out all the panels and all the components inside of their respective panels. So, remember, you get the right container and call it whatever, I'll call it pane, and that's going to be equal to a new, I mean, not a new, it's going to be equal to this, which is referring to the J frame, and then get content pane. Got it? All right. Now I'm going to make a little comment here, top panel setup. So now we're setting up and adding components to the top panel, which is going to be basically just our numbers. So like, when we first spawn the game, only one number is going to be um, shown up, and that's a number that we have to guess off of originally. So, and then I didn't declare these J panels globally because we don't need to, so I just declare them locally inside the constructor. So J panel and let's call it top and that's gonna be a new J panel. And then top, I gotta set the layout. And I want one row and four columns because oops. Sorry about that. Um new grid layout one four. There we go. And I want four columns because I want it to be four across to hold the four numbers that we could possibly have. And yeah, I think I'm gonna stop it here because I don't know. I think I'm getting a little long time, so um, just look for the part two in this series, and you'll be able to continue right where we left off. Thanks for watching, guys.